for this problem, a heavy ball with a weight of 130 newtons is hung from the ceiling of a lecture hall on a 4.7 meter long rope. The ball is pulled to one side and released to swing as a pendulum, reaching a speed of 5.5 meters per second as it passes through the lowest point. Um, and they want the tension in the rope at this point. And so we have some pendulum with a ball at a low point, and it's following this curved motion here, moving with some velocity of 5.5 meters per second at this point. Um, our rope is 4.7 meters long. Um, the forces that we have um, acting on this is we have some weight pointing down, and then we should have some tension um, pointing back up into the circle that's um, forcing this to have a circular motion. Um, so I always like to start getting all my knowns uh, down on paper. Um, and so we know we have some radius of 4.7 meters. Um, they've given us a, a weight, which is a, a weight force of 130 newtons. Um, we have um, some initial tangential velocity of zero when they drop it, um, and then some final tangential velocity of 5.5 meters per second. Um, we need to find our a T tension. And so we know that our net force acting on this um, is going to be our mass times acceleration is equal to um, all the forces we see here would be tension um, going up a positive direction minus weight going in a negative direction. Um, and of course, we know that weight is equal to um, mass times gravity, although we actually already have um, a force of weight up there, 130 newtons. Um, but we need T, so let's set this to T real quick. So we have tension is equal to mass times acceleration plus weight. Um, we already have the weight. Um, we don't have the mass, but we're given the weight so we can find the mass from the weight. So since weight is mass um, times gravity, um, we're given gravity, so we can just um, solve where mass is equal to weight times gravity, or divided by gravity, I mean, um, which is 130 divided by the acceleration due to gravity, um, which is uh, 13.27. So now we have our mass. Um, and our acceleration is normally going to be our tangen tangential and um, our radial, but since we are um, at the bottom um, uh, of this uh, rotation here, our, um, our tangential um, is actually zero until it starts moving up or down, so kind of like when a ball reaches its highest point um, you know, its acceleration becomes zero for a moment and then it changes direction. And so same same here, we reach the lowest point, it becomes zero and then it starts going up again. Um, and so we don't really care about this. So we can just um, say that this is actually T is equal to M radial acceleration um, plus uh, W. Um, and then we know that our um, radial acceleration is also equal to velocity, tangential velocity squared over radius. And these are um, numbers that we actually have here. And so now we have um, something to plug in for each of these in order to solve for the tension. And so um, we just plug in all of our numbers.
and then um, once you plug this all uh, into a calculator you end up with 215 newtons if you round and that's it